Our scripture reading this morning comes from Romans chapter 11. Continue our study through this book, through this chapter, looking today at verses 25 to 27. call you now to give your careful attention to this reading of God's inspired, infallible, and inerrant word, as we said from Romans 11, beginning at verse 25. Lest you be wise in your own sight, I do not want you to be unaware of this mystery, brothers. A partial hardening has come upon Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in, And in this way, all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the deliverer will come from Zion. He will banish ungodliness from Jacob. And this will be my covenant with them when I take away their sins. Thus far, God's word this morning. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the marvelous wisdom and riches of your knowledge and your plan, revealed and unfolded and explained here in Romans 11, to gather your people from the four corners of the earth, from every tribe, tongue, and people, and nation, that they might be one in the Lord Jesus Christ. How unsearchable are your judgments and how inscrutable your ways. Help us, Lord, today to understand Paul's explanation of that part of this plan which has to do with how we, who are Gentiles, become one body 